Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand information frame or iframe. So, there are three types of frames. One is iframe, S-frame and U-frame. So, the concepts, the basic concepts related to the framing methods used in HDLC has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now now here uh, this is the frame uh, this is the information frame so what is the job done by this information when the when this information frame is used that is very important to understand here iframes are designed to carry user data from the network layer the payload that we are going to receive from the network layer if the information the data that is related to the sender needs to be transmitted then we are going to use I frame information frame so this is what we call it as user information or it is called as a payload the network layer the data from the network layer embedded with the control fields of the uh, of those specific layers is what we call it as payload if that information needs to be transmitted then we are going to use a I frame and uh, the concept related to flag address <coughs> FCS and flag has already been discussed in our previous video these are common for all the framing methods but the only difference that we are going to uh, we are going to differentiate a frame with the other frame is a control field so what this control field consists of that it is going to take one byte but in the modern uh, in the uh, there are some uh, uh, hdlc uh, hdlc frame formats where we are, where we are going to use two bytes also but here we are going to understand about one byte uh, how the what are the bits that are there in the control field that we need to understand here the first bit of the control field is if it is represented as zero with that we are going to understand that this is an information frame the receiver understands what kind of frame it is by using this first bit with uh, which is having zero if it is having zero means it is an information frame <coughs> the next three bits represents ns ns stands for sequence number the sequence number the sequence number of the frame will be represented in the control part of the frame and these three bits are representing these three bits are representing the sequence number with three bits how many sequence numbers are possible zero to seven so eight uh, uh, eight uh, frame sequence numbers are possible and the numbering is done from zero to seven the next one is p bar f p bar f means pole on or final so this bit so whenever this bit is made as one then only the use of p or f will be represented if it is set to zero then it is of no use <coughs> if it is set to one then only it is uh, it is useful so what this pole and final means p means pole f means final pole is represented whenever the primary uh, whenever the primary system is transmitting the data so we are going to consider it as pole whenever the primary system so what is this primary system and secondary system we have discussed in normal response mode <coughs> So, in the normal response mode, one of the system will continuously send the data frames. The other system will just give the response to the data frames that has been received. So, the primary system is which, which sends the data continuously. Data frames are being transmitted. So, what this, what this bit is used for is, if the, if the acknowledgements are not received by the uh, other end system, if the acknowledgements are not received by the other end system or the receiver, so uh, the sender is going to poll for the status of that system whether it is working or not whether the data has been received or not and what what status it is upon in the sense whether the frames are being delivered or not if not if, if delivered why the response is not coming is it busy or what so the status of the system in order to get the status of the system we are going to set the poll bit as one 
so this bit as one if it is done by primary system it is what we call uh, it is called polling and final means if the receiver asks for the ask for the status then it is what we call it as uh, uh, final so it is considered as final and it is set to one so if it is set to one then only it is of use if it is set to zero it is considered uh, of no use so no polling or final is being requested so the next three bits are <coughs> acknowledgements bits similarly uh, the sequence number uh, the sequence number of the frame and similarly the acknowledgements the acknowledgements that are being transmitted within this uh, uh, data frame so that the those three bits are represented in uh, uh, in this last three bits of the control field of the iframe and uh, as usual this is flag address address means if it is a primary system it is going to send the address of the receiver if it is a secondary system it is going to send the it is going to send the uh, from address <coughs> from where the uh, acknowledgement is being transmitted so the from address will be there here and uh, uh, fcs means it is the checksum or the error detection technique that is being used the output of that error detection will get placed here and these are the flag bits hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching